Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today because Alejandro came through. We get to see the Cybertruck today. And uh, it was very nice of him to invite me out. Lives in Newport Beach. And uh, so that I could come out, take a look at the car, go for a ride. Look at every part of it, guys. And it is absolutely Pretty amazing, guys, after everything you showed me so far. So please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, it's uh, going to be all Cybertruck today. So cannot wait to show this to you. Plus, today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold, and I will talk about them a little later. So Alejandro loves electric vehicles. A complete car guy. And he ordered this five years ago. And it is pretty amazing. Folded steel. And it is absolutely amazing. The trunk bed we talked about, which is kind of surprising how big it is. And when it rolls up, the window pops up. You can see that. Lights come on. It's got a lot of storage. It's like basically a full truck bed, which is really surprising. You know, it's a fairly tall car. It's got really big wheels on it. But man, it is, it's absolutely amazing. It really is. I'm really shocked at how cool it is. So this thing's got the larger motor and uh, it was one of the first 10 people to get the car. So let's take a look inside. Okay. I'm just sitting inside. The thing. It is pretty wild because you've got, you don't have a round steering wheel. You've got the dash that's got everything on it. Man, it's just crazy. Everything's open. Look at this. The... Look at all the media source. As I open the door, the, the air kicks on. It's really spacious. He was telling me how much he liked the interior of this. It seats five comfortably. The roof is all glass. You know, it tells you the trunk's open, gives you all the details for that. Let's try to do this without the glare. There we go. But the steering wheel is very funky, so let's we'll see if we can go for a ride in this bad boy. Okay, this is Alejandro, who was nice enough to invite me out to his house in Newport Beach to take a look at his Cybertruck. But the cool thing is what you're going to do to it. Now, you know, because I said, what do you do? Because I felt bad. So he's letting me walk around the car and open the door and everything. And there's fingerprints all over the place. But you're going to wrap it. It's part, I mean, it's part of it right now as they are. They get really dirty and they definitely need some protection. And also, I am not the smartest person in the world. So... <laughs> I'm gonna Go wrap tell him it. what you're gonna do, because this is great. You're gonna wrap the car. I'm gonna wrap the car and it's gonna look like a fighter plane with teeth and everything, <laughs> one of those. And also there's a company that's making like an 80,000 kit for it. Oh. And it's gonna make it look like it's the zombie apocalypse truck of the right now. And I, I believe we need that in LA right now. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's what, and- Might uh, as well be prepared, man. Exactly. It's, be it's, ready. It's, it's be ready, it's time. So can we go for a ride in this thing? Let's go for a ride in this thing. You're driving? I'll drive. Yeah, whatever you got. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Sounds good, guys. Let's take a let's take a drive. Now he is totally electrified, and he has got himself the Rivian also, and he loves this car. And he said this is going to be much easier to drive first than the Cybertruck. So we're going to try this. So all we got to do is just I put it in drive, and now there's just that's it. 
Yeah, no, take the foot off the mat. That's it. Oh, wow. So how long have you had this one? This I've had for two years now. Okay. Got one of the first ones up uh, as soon as they drop them. Oh, man, you take your foot off the gas and it stops. Okay, let me turn the camera off. So driving the Rivian was fantastic. He's absolutely blown away that I've never driven a Tesla. But uh, his this Rivian your, was fantastic. It, it was pretty cool. This is uh, the first Tesla you're ever driving. You're ever driving is a completely different car. You'll you'll see. I'm okay. dying for you to drive this. Okay, here we go, guys. So the the screen is amazing. It really is. You've got everything available. Oh my God! Look at that. It's so fast too. So do you mind driving with the, the bed open? Is that cool or do you don't care? Oh no, I don't care. Whatever, either open or close, it's preference. Okay. Very, very cool. Okay, let's do it. You so feel that? Oh yeah, it's got really a lot of pull to it. That is very cool. Wow. The thing that is still, it, just like the Rivian, that's kind of wild is you take your foot off the gas and it stops. You can, you can get rid of that, but normally people want to use it because it gives you more battery in the long term, more energy. So have you taken it the full 240 miles right now? Uh, this is the first, like my third, fourth drive really. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Enjoy it. And now this one has m way more punch than the other one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You see that smile? Wow. You see that smile? <laughs> oh God, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it really is. Okay, okay. This is really wild that it's that quick. Oh my gosh, I'm only going 40. Man, it's just bolts. Now this thing, you know, 2.7 seconds, zero to 60. It'll do a quarter mile in less than 11 seconds, which I totally believe after just punching it like that. But, oh my gosh, you can just feel that. So are you used to the, the steering yet with this? Uh, I myself, yes, because I drive a lot of different cars, but my wife is getting used to it still because she's only driven it once. It's a totally different beast and I love it because it makes it feel like a smart car when it's uh, when, when you make a U-turn in a small space. So simple. And really? the turn ratio is incredible. Wow. That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it here because I'm gonna have a much easier time making the U-turn here than I will I'll let these cars go. This thing gets the attention too. Oh it yeah. It really does, oh my God. Look at that Bentley, look at that piece of junk. <laughs> Get out of our way, listen. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is incredible. Wow. Yep. That is unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> this is the complete opposite of what I thought it was going to be. This is fantastic. Good. It really is. This is an absolute amazing experience to say the least. And the sound system is incredible. I don't know how much that, you like your songs. Oh, I do. But you know what? The, but just span the car. Just see, you know, show the car out. There's so much room. This would seat five comfortably without a doubt. Oh, yeah. And, you know. And they're ventilated seats, heated seats. So how's the, the air conditioning is really comfortable, but how, how does it work without the motor? Is it just a, a regular compressor? Or? To be honest with you, they have their own uh um, they have their own ACs, which they want to take commercial. 
Okay. They want to do that because it's so efficient. Their units are so much more efficient oh, than any great. other AC. Oh, it looks great. feels good. It's really comfortable. I mean, yeah. it's a hot day outside. Yeah. So I, I don't know how they work, but I know for a fact they're more efficient than anything out on the market. So did you have to go pick it up or did they deliver it to you? How'd that work out? Uh, they delivered it to uh, Irvine, to their delivery center, which okay. is 3.5 miles away from Yeah, here. it's really close. Yeah. yeah. You guys are getting a lot of Dan today, but uh, Alejandro, <laughs> thank you. I like how I just noticed the speed, the electronic speed limit side. You're speeding. Mm -hmm. So so if I get a ticket, wow. I know to send it to <laughs> Exactly. Oh, I wonder if they have those electronic things. In here. Nah, I think that. This is cool. So, wow. That is that. Thank you for letting me drive this. No, this my is, pleasure. I feel like uh, everyone should drive a Tesla at least once so they can understand a little bit more because it's it's crazy how different they drive from the other one. Even from the Rivian, can you feel the differences? Oh, completely. This yeah. this is a tank. This is this is not a small vehicle. This is uh, you know I have a van a, a, you know uh, that my girlfriend had, and that thing's like driving a boat. This thing is just incredible. I'm gonna you turn mm -hmm. around. Oh my gosh. This thing would be just incredible. Oh, I hope I got enough room. Do you want me to stop filming or continue? You can just go around. It's no problem. You think I got room? Yeah, I got Yeah, room. oh, for sure. Okay. That's cool. You can stop filming too. Yeah. That's the range in the top left. It's got the time of day, temperature. And the thing that floored me is, I'm going to just drop it behind here. I'll let you move it. But, uh, um, So did I take it out of gear the same way? Just press the P. Just press the P, okay, and that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So. All of the protocols, but no. It can lift up like crazy, it can go down even more. Hey, it's a big toy. It's a big toy. Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. Patriot Gold is number one rated for seven years in a row with Consumer Affairs. Contact them today and get a free investor guide, 888-330-1431, or use the link below. But look at what central banks are doing. Look at what rich people are doing. They are buying gold hand over fist right now, whether it's celebrities, tech people, they are buying gold right now for the future to protect themselves. Contact them today. You can get an IRA or 401k that's backed by physical metals. Do it now before it's too late. Contact them. Let them know that I allegedly sent you 888-330-1431. Either call them or use the link below, but get the free investor guide. Have them answer all your questions. They're number one rated for a very good reason. Their customer service is fantastic, but you need to protect yourself and see how gold can make a difference in your retirement. Contact Patriot Gold today. The one thing that's amazing is you've got all the cameras in the car. And Alejandro pointed everything out to me from here and here, but it's just, it's all around the car. Hey, can you seal the back up? Yeah, absolutely. And they say it can take 300 pounds here. I haven't tried it, but... Oh, it's true. I mean, I'm nowhere near 300 pounds, but... Wow. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems so fragile. The Rivian would totally collapse. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is so cool. So Alejandro is a true car guy. knows the entire industry, knows all about the EV car industry, and he's going to show us. <laughs> Take a seat. Yeah. Okay. So we're sitting in the, in the uh, this isn't the, where the motor would be, but okay, 
We were talking about Rivian, which mm -hmm. you have your Rivian. I do. And Rivian, you think that they're financially a good company. Yeah. And that they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get through this. So a lot of people don't know, but Rivian comes from. Uh, uh, there's a big company that's invested in Rivian indirectly through whoever made the investment. So okay. there's a lot of knowledge on how to produce a car. The, the the hardest thing about electric cars, it's the economy of scale. If you only produce a certain amount of cars, you're always going to lose money because you need to own the vertical so that you uh, are able to actually bring all of your costs down. Because once you do it by volume, my God, these cars become so cheap. That's why Tesla's killing it. And it's like no one remembers when Tesla was doing it, how many times they were like, we're so close to becoming profitable. We're so close. And everybody's like, no, you're not. Yeah. And then and the then day they did became it. profitable, their margins are huge compared to a regular car maker. So Rivian is going in the same path. Rivian was losing about $28,000 per car uh, last year. Now they're losing about $40,000 per car. The stock dropped like crazy because they said in their guidance that they were gonna do the same 57,000 uh, cars that they delivered on their first year, which that's insane, by the way. <clears throat> Lucid, for example, has only delivered 9,000 cars in all of their existence. Now, say the Lucid number again, because I've Nine. said this before. Lucid is losing $400,000. So per car. Yeah. Per it, car. It's crazy. Yeah. And Lucid needs to ramp up their production. <clears throat> the hardest thing about making an electric car is being able to do that production and to own the vertical. So the big companies tried, but they failed at the same time. So they're like going back and saying like, we're gonna cut production on electrics. That is the biggest mistake they can possibly make for GM, Stellantis, all of those guys. Because if you get back into that, your cost to produce the EVs are gonna go way higher. So they need to acquire these smaller companies, but it's kind of impossible to find a smaller company that's actually profitable or it's going in the right way. Rivian after Tesla. So Tesla sold about a million cars last year. Rivian sold 57,000. They're gonna sell another 57,000 this year, but that's because they're stopping production. They're actually making their production line better, more efficient so they can reduce their costs. And also they're getting into the volume game with their R2 model, which is the smaller car okay. that they're gonna come out with. That's what put Tesla on the, like, on the profitable side of everything. So now they're getting there. Whereas Lucid, they're still making expensive cars because they can only produce so little cars um, and their, their costs are terrible. How, how are they gonna be able to, I mean, are they gonna survive or is they just have so much money behind them that they're gonna be around for X amount of time? I love my Saudi guys and they're gonna be yeah. fine. I think they're gonna be fine. I'm not a Lucid believer. I yeah. I, I, I invested in Lucid as a, spec, uh, as a, I'm speculating, like think about crypto, the most risky of the cryptos, that's Lucid. Okay. So the biggest return on a quick uh, investment would be Lucid in my view. Then Rivian would be the second highest risk, but also the second highest reward. And then Tesla is just already there. They're just gonna go up because they have AI, robotics, and all these other uh, revenue sources. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, any, okay. Can we talk about Apple? Possibly. Apple got out of the electric car market. Yes. Do you think that they may purchase somebody else? Let's talk about that. This is what I was thinking. So Apple already went and spent $10 billion, $10 billion trying to make an electric car. Dyson, do you know Dyson? The yeah. hair, they also spent $2 billion trying to make their electric car and they failed and they stopped. <laughs> so they left it at $2 billion. And I think Rivian would be, to me, the stock drop in Rivian's price makes no sense. That's like for someone kind of like getting ready to, it, that, that's what it feels to me. I could be wrong. And again, I don't care if Apple acquires Rivian or not, but I do think if Apple wants to do things right and they need to, this is my, my view. They want to get their Apple CarPlay in every car, but not only the CarPlay, they want to design the operating system for the car. And if they want to get into that game, the only way that they can do it is making it on their car because everyone else is trying to create their proper, uh, their own software, let's call it that. I'm sorry, my Mexican. No, 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 it's okay. Um, so if they want to get into that, they need miles. And if they need miles, they need their own vehicles. And if they need their own vehicles and they already said no to $10 billion, you might as well just spend the 10 billion, acquire Rivian right now. Also, Rivian has built an incredible brand, incredible. Uh, if you drive anywhere around here, you know it's full of Rivian. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. They're all over the place. Hidden Hills, all of the nice, nice ladies, they yeah. all have their Rivian. And, and, and that's really hard to build. So they've already did that. And the interior is exquisite. Like, oh, it's it, just it's, beautiful. It's and, and you know what? I'm glad you had me drive that first uh, to get the feel for good. it before I drove the the uh, the tank. So, so different. Yeah, so completely. different. Yeah. But this has been an absolute pleasure. 
And uh, Alejandro, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for coming. Okay, yeah, this you. is like a this is like a dream come to a reality. So I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. So please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take a look at the sponsor today. And uh, um, if you guys want to get a hold of me, hello at I allegedly. You have any questions for Alejandro? He said he would answer them. So send me emails, and I'll make sure that I forward them to him. So I'll see you guys very soon. But thank you, sir. No, okay. thank you. That okay. was fun, Dan. Thank you. <laughs>